the personal pitch. This is one of the most important documents that you can create for yourself. The reason being is that there are numerous occasions when a personal pitch will come in handy. However, most people do not take the time to craft a personal pitch. And this is a mistake. Having a strong personal pitch instantly makes you look more professional and credible. Now, it can be useful to draft several different personal pitches. And the reason being is that you may want your personal pitch to an interviewer or an employer to be different than to a colleague or a team member. This is why it can be a good idea to create a professional and a casual personal pitch. The other thing to keep in mind is that you might not always have the typical one to two minutes for your personal pitch. There are occasions when you only have 30 seconds. So it's a good idea to be prepared with a 30 second personal pitch and a one to two minute personal pitch. Now, there are a couple things to remember when crafting your personal pitch. And the first is, tailor your pitch to the audience. This is important because your audience will determine the type of pitch you use. Is it a professional pitch or more of a casual pitch? Is it 30 seconds or is it a minute, two minutes? Now, the second thing to remember is that the ideal length of time for your pitch is between one and two minutes. Anything longer than two minutes and you run the risk of having the audience lose interest. Now, the third thing to remember is to keep your pitch specific. And what I mean by this is you don't want to have more than one or two topics covered in your personal pitch. When I say topics, I'm really referring to your professional success, your philanthropic activities, your sporting achievements, your uh, private successes or hobbies or passions. If you include too many topics in your pitch, you run the risk of writing a very general pitch that covers too much but doesn't really focus on anything specific. What would be better is to really talk about just your professional success or your professional and philanthropic activities, assuming they tie together. Now the fourth thing to remember is to use numbers or experiences in your pitch. Now I've mentioned this a lot throughout the different pitching videos, but I cannot stress it enough. Adding numbers and experiences grounds your pitch in a reality and makes it more credible. The fifth thing to remember is to connect the dots. And what I mean by this is connect the dots of what you are saying to what you want. So when you sit down to write your personal pitch, think about what it is that you want, that you want to achieve. Is it an interview? Is it a job? And so forth. And once you've determined that, you need to align what you are saying to what you want. By doing this, you create a more compelling pitch and you also show that you know what it is that you want. The sixth thing to remember is call to action. As I previously mentioned with what it is that you want, you need to end with a strong call to action. At the end of the day, you're pitching for a reason. And whatever that reason may be, if you want to achieve the objective, you need to end with a call to action. Finally, practice. How you deliver your pitch is as important as the content in your pitch. You want to speak with confidence and clarity if you want to captivate your audience. And this is why practice is so important. Really focus on your body language and your articulation as you practice. And it's useful to practice with friends, family, or even colleagues on your personal pitch. Now, it can be useful to ask the following questions when writing your personal pitch. Who am I pitching to? What do I want? What are my strengths or strongest skills? What do I love or what am I passionate about? And can I include numbers or experiences to make my pitch more credible? Do not make the mistake of wigging your personal pitch. Spend the time to write your pitch and practice it because you never know when it will come in handy. And don't forget, you only get one shot at a first impression. So make the most of it. Thank you for watching the personal pitch video.